Hey everyone, welcome to another Pathfinder Adventure Card Game Scenario. Playing with the character Alhazra. This is Scenario 3.2. We're over at the Kenny Jackal. We're at this location. When you fail a check to acquire a boon, you may bury a card to acquire it. Wow, so this location is going to be a lot of fun. So, first thing we're going to do is advance the Blessings deck, and we get an Acid Flask. So the Acid Flask uh, requires an Intelligence Craft 5. Okay, so uh, Alhaja has an Intelligence of D8. So we're rolling D8, so we rolled a 3. So it says here that um, at this location, we can bury a card to acquire this card. But we're really not too interested in that, so we will let it go. We're going to advance the Blessings deck, and we're going to explore again. Ooh, sweet. We get the Library Curator. Intelligence Knowledge 8 or Charisma Diplomacy 9. So it says, wow, this card looks pretty cool. We're going to go with the uh, Charisma because Alhazra has D10 plus 6 for her Charisma. So let's go ahead and roll a D10 here. Assembly my dice. Getting a lucky D10. All right, so we rolled a 3. Well, fortunately, our Charisma bonus is plus 6. So we do acquire the Library Curator. So we can discard this card to explore your location. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. We'll just go ahead and gain the Library Curator. We're going to explore our location. All right, we get uh, this scenario's uh, villain or henchman. So it says here, it says here, well, a lot of things going on here. Immune to mental and poison trait. Before you act, succeed at a stealth eight check or the difficulty of the combat check to defeat is increased by four. So we're gonna do a stealth check first. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have anything that's gonna help out. Well, we got the uh, Blessing of Farazma. So unfortunately, uh, Alhazra, her, uh, her stealth is just a D4. We could use the Blessing to bump that up to a D8, I mean, a, to a 2D4. We need an eight. Unfortunately, I think that's going to be an auto-fail. We're not even going to bother checking that. So the difficulty is now it's a 16 to defeat. So if defeated, move to a random other location. Well, the way I play, we don't uh, factor in move effects. So if defeated, draw an item from the box. Then you may immediately attempt to close the location this henchman came from. Okay, that's pretty cool. So we need to do a combat wisdom knowledge diplomacy 16 check. All right, well, that's actually really not that bad. I mean, I have the Fireblade spell. We might as well just try uh, blowing it to smithereens with the Fireblade spell. The Fireblade spell is D10 plus 2D4 plus we get D8 since it has the fire and attack traits with the Fireblade spell. And we're going to use a Blessing of Phrasma, which allows us to roll 2D10, an additional 2D10. Wow. So we get to do all this, and we get to add 6 to our roll. So we rolled a 3, 7, 15, 18, 22, 26, and 6. Uh, 26 and 6, right? 32. Okay, so more than enough. Over 16. I kind of wanted to fail that check because at this location, we could have like automatically gotten every single loot card here. So as it is, he came early. I'll roll to see if I re well actually Fireblade is an auto recharge. So we auto recharge that spell. Uh, if defeated, we get to draw an item for the box. And it says here, then we can attempt to close this location. It says here, you may close this location automatically. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna first of all get our item from the box. So I'm going to go ahead and roll a d30, see which item we get. So we get the third item. So we do get, wow, how exciting, we get a compass. So not exactly what I wanted. So we get the compass, and then this location is close. All right, Candy Jackal. So mm, let's go ahead and talk about the deck check here. So looking at that location, so we could have gotten like all this cool stuff. Mm, Ooh, we could have got this additional ally if we had, uh, if that henchman didn't come up so early. But as it is, uh, we're always happy to close the location. There's Alhazra. 
Let's go ahead and do a deck check for her. She's got some, uh, the, uh, let's go ahead and do the deck check and I'll talk about the reward for the scenario. So it's really cool that she got an ally three because she can use that to trade stuff. So she's got that item there. These are her spells, her armor. Let me go ahead and straighten all that out a little bit. There we go, technical difficulties. Got some glare going on with the curtain. Draw the shade there, see if that helps out. Heat metal, best card ever, bless the Nephis. Getting a little overcast weather here where I'm broadcasting. So interesting, blessings go over here. Okay, so this is the state of her deck. Now for the reward scenario, so she got, uh, what's cool is she gets a card feat for this reward. So card feet, and you know what, and she just got that new ally who she really wants to keep. So she can actually, let's see if we want to keep this library curator. Library curator says, recharge this card to add one die to your intelligence or knowledge check. If you fail this check, bury this card. Or you can discard to explore the location. So I mean, she's really not that great. Um, before we do the card feet, what I want to do is uh, also for this reward we gain uh, this trader and this trader or merchant offers magic items items that have the magic trait and that's what we want we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go see if what kind of items this trader has for us that have the magic trait so going to quickly roll a 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And from here on, let's see what items this guy's out. So, magic trait there. Let's see what else has the magic trait. Oh, wow. I don't believe it. That totally lucked out. So, this is exactly what we want. We want this wand of scorching ray. Get a load of this. It's attack and fire. So she's offering that to us, but we got to cough up three things that are level. Well, this is this is a game changer. We're definitely, well, maybe not. Let's see. We'll work on the card feed later on. So we have to give uh, this trader, this Medusa, she wants three items. We can have to give her items of level three or level two. So uh, let's see. We can do that. Uh, what else we got? We could do, this is a level two, so we can give her this card. Now we just need one more card. Um, so let's see, did we gain anything here? One, two, three, four, five, six. Shucks. Um, well, we could give her, we could give this ally. Okay, so here are the three things that we're gonna give. We're gonna give this ally, this item, and this other ally in order for us to gain, to trade that Wand of Scorching Ray. So I think it's going to be worth it. So what we're going to do is we're going to do that. We're going to lose all that. Uh, we have three items there. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and keep an item slot open. So uh, this trader says, yep, have the Wand of Scorching Ray. Give me those three things. We have three items there. We want to keep them all. Actually, we don't really need it. We can, um, what we can do is we can um, just keep two items. We can have the embalming fluid and the wand of scorching ray. We don't have to increase that. We could have two, we only have two allies here. So in order to make a correct deck, we have to get another ally. So we have some options then. Do we want to go ahead and get another spell? So no matter how you play it, I'm gonna have to add some more basic sp uh, cards to Alhazra's deck in order for her to have a legal deck. Right now, I don't really know exactly what kind of card feat I want, um, and I don't know what kind of basic spells I'm going to need, but the cool thing is, is we were able to get this level three treasure, or le level three item, and acquire that. So that is really cool. We did have to trade quite a bit of uh, cool cards for that. So I'm going to have to think about which uh, card feat I want. Uh, I will have to add some cards to the, since we traded, like, ally and an item, we have to, once again, beef up our deck here uh, to get a new ally. 
and just figure out where we're going with that. All right, well, I'll let you know my uh, decision after the game. Uh, that uh, location was pretty cool. We got the cool trader. We got this cool item. So Alhazra is just getting more and more powerful with each adventure, with each scenario. All right, well, thanks for watching. I'll have another scenario up shortly. I'll let you know uh, next deck check what we're doing with Alhazra. All right, bye.